And then, as Ashley mentioned, and John also alluded to, you know, despite that historic expansion of leave uh, th through SB 1383, this year when the California legislature assembled, they started introducing even more leave bills with new leave mandates, new leave mandates expanding paid sick leave, new leave mandates uh, expanding and creating bereavement leave. Um, new classifications uh, uh, for, for why you could take leave under the under CIFRA, under the California Family Rights Act. I mean, there just seems to be no end to how many leave bills the California legislature is going to introduce. And at some point, if you're a small employer, you look around and you go, my God, how am I ever going to comply with all this? And just one more thing while I'm on my soapbox, a lot of these small companies, they don't have a full-time human resource director. It's basically the owner of the company who's, you know, trying to get the work lined up, uh, trying to get the right teams put together to go out and do the work, trying to take care of their finances, their accounting, and all what in their spare time, they've got to, you know, read through, you know, piles and piles of regulations to make sure they're not violating any laws. And God forbid, if they do violate a law, then they're going to get dragged into court under the Private Attorney General's Act or under the Fair Employment and Housing Law. So, it's a real landmine out there for employers, and I, I don't believe that we're doing enough to simplify some of these challenges that businesses, and particularly small businesses, face in the state. And uh, so I think there's a lot of room for more discussion in this area. 